Space students, this is Mr. Schneider with perhaps one of the stranger videos from our distance learning series, but this is cool. This is called the Water Gong Challenge. So, I have a lid here, right? It's just a lid for like a pot. Obviously, you got to get your parents' permission for this one. Got my lid. Now, this part is key to have a like a little handle or something to hold because if you're holding it like this check it out doesn't actually sound that great now check it this way listen to it now now it kind of sounds like a gong right and this is a water gong challenge so that's fitting so you're gonna take your gong now I have here a giant bucket of water again Ask your parents' permission. No flooding the house. I've got like a little wooden stick. You could use a spoon. Um, so now I'm going to take this. I'm going to play it. And then I'm going to slowly lower it into the water. Huh. Now I'm going to slowly raise it. Lower it. I'm just going to have some fun for a second. All right, so your job is to do your own water gong challenge to make your own video to send it to me. Now, one question for extra credit is when you put the gong into the water, when it goes down in the water, is the pitch, remember pitch means high or low, is the pitch going up like we are going up or... When the wa when this when the gong goes down in the water, is the pitch going low? So it'd be like we are going low. Does it is so is the pitch going down as you lower it, or is the pitch going up? Extra credit. All right, guys, have a great time with the water gong challenge. Bye bye.